I have with me in studio. Okay. Destiny, right? Yeah. Uh, how did you get? Oh wait, the this name? is real is life. Name? It, yeah, kind of. I made it when I was like nine. Wow. You call yourself Destiny? Well, in real life, I call myself Steven, but online, I go by Destiny. Yeah. Oh, so your real name is Steven? Yeah. But online, you no, pretend to be Destiny. a woman? No, it's Destiny. No, I just have a feminine Wait, name, I what? guess. what? Yeah, that's a girl name. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it is. This is Do true. they Destiny's know child. you have a girl name online? Uh, I don't think most people see it that way online. Oh, uh, do they see Destiny as a male name? I guess so, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Destiny wow. is a okay. Twitch streamer, a gamer, and um, YouTube personality who also okay. cover politics and philosophy. His website is destiny.gg. I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate you having me. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And so are you conservative or liberal? Uh, probably very liberal. Probably very <laughs> liberal. Compared to, yeah. Compared to what? Oh, Most boy. Oh, yeah? Okay. How old are you? Uh, 30 years old. Really? Wow. And how long have you been a liberal? Uh, okay. Probably five to six years, maybe. And yeah. you were a conservative prior to becoming a liberal? Very much. Okay. And what made you become a liberal? I got a little older, a little smarter. Oh, you grew out of it, yeah. And you were tired of being a man? Uh, I was tired of being a man. <laughs> what? But, yeah. you, so you woke up one day, you know what? I'm tired of being a man. I want to be a liberal. I think there are plenty of men that are liberal. Not so real men. You really think so? Men who are liberals wow. are betas. What do you mean? What is a man to you? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, like, is this, this has got to be like bullshit, right? This has to be bullshit. There's no way that somebody's doing this and acting like this legitimately. There's no fucking way. No, th there's no way. There's no way that somebody would do this. Like, I'm sorry, guys. It's just ridiculous. No, he's actually really dumb. Like, man, I I, I can't believe it. Like, no. Uh, let me see. Like, all right. Let me look at his his YouTube channel. Okay. Don't worry. I just randomly clicked something. Sorry. Sort by what's his oldest video? Nine years ago. Stop Obama's social sh No, this is... His commitment to... Everybody and their mama. And I appreciate it, folks. Thank you for being here. We are uniting the races with truth. And what? It's real. Hey, in a minute. That's a good question. I wanted to ask okay. you first, though. Uh, let me ask. Are you Cuban? Uh, half, yeah. Half Cuban and half what? Uh, uh, European stuff. I don't know. So European oh, okay. stuff. Your, okay. Your mother was Cuban or your father? Uh, mom was Cuban. Uh, and your dad is you don't know what yeah, he I don't was. Some European, yeah. <laughs> Did you know your father? Yeah, I just don't know the background much. I don't really care that much. You don't care that much nah. about your father? About my heritage. Or oh my oh come on, oh, yeah, man! I understand that. And so I read that okay. you were banned from uh, Twitter. Yep. Why? I don't know. I got reported by a lot of people. And what did they say about you? Uh, who, Twitter or the people that reported that me? That reported you to make them ban you? Oh, I have no idea. I got reported for all sorts of stuff. What were you saying? Um, I Just whatever things liberals say. I'm not sure. Oh. And so are you okay with being a liberal? Do you feel like a man as a liberal? Because most men, real men, are conservative. What do you mean when you say real men? Real man. Oh my God. What is a man in your opinion? Well, I'm curious what a man is to you. I'll tell you that in a minute, but tell me, since you're my guest, okay. what is a man? What is a man? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, people that have values of this guess, is honor or integrity or chivalry, people that this stand is up for real. what they believe in. I, I There's a lot of general. But you're not sure what a man what is? In what? Are you asking like in a scientific sense? Or period. A, just period. What is a man? Wow. I, mean, I think I already gave an answer. What do you think a man That's is? That's your opinion. So you don't really know what a man is? Did you grow up close to your mother? Um, I grew up equally close to both parents. What Who is this you about? Who to, your mother or your father? I'd say like, it was about 50-50 on both. So you were 50% daddy uh, and 50% mama? Exactly, right down the middle. There's no way this is real. There's no way. Like, I mean, this is, this is insane. This is absolutely fucking insane. Is this... But I mean, it's like three minutes into the interview, and he's not even like. 
It gets worse? No, it doesn't. There's no way it can get worse than this. You're 50% daddy, 50% mama? Who the fuck watches this? Like, I, I, I don't get it. So are you half man, half woman? I don't think that's how male or female works. How does it work? Not like that. There's no work. way. I mean, it depends on what there's sense you're no, asking. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> a man this is This has got to be bullshit. Uh, a man is a, a male who turned to man. He grew out of malehood and became a man. And he is a, a, a man that loves God with all his heart, soul, and might, along with nothing else. He um, treat all people the same because he has no anger. He loves what's right. Um, he lead people in the right way to go. Okay, that's nice. That's he, good. He, uh, President Trump, and I'm sure you would agree, is a perfect example of what a man is. A I'm man sure even loves his agree. enemies because he has no anger for anyone. Oh, no. Would you agree that President Trump is a real man? I'm not sure what you mean by man. Um, I heard you describe a bunch of oh. things that have nothing to do with men. It's his um, nature. He has an obligation of being right. Obligation? His I mean, duty. I think men and women can be correct or incorrect about things. I don't think any of those His things are— His duty is to to be right. I mean, literally, live right, be right, and lead the way. That's his duty. Would you agree with so, that? I mean, if that's his duty, he's doing a pretty poor job of it right now. Do you agree that the great white hope is a real man? What is the great white hope? President Trump. I, if he is— He's doing a pretty bad job. Oh, in, in boy. What I mean, is this? We're in the this? longest government shutdown in recorded okay. history as we speak right now. Who fault is that? It's his fault. He's the leader. No, it's a Democrat's fault. They don't want to give you the money to give him the money. The wall. Come yeah. closer to the mic for me. They don't want to give, uh, turn it up a little bit or something, Joe. I can speak closer a little closer. Yeah, that's okay. Um, it's, I, I the would Democrats agree with you. don't want to give the president the money to put the wall up. I, I, okay. I mean, I could either agree with you or I could agree with Trump. Um, when government shutdowns happened under Obama, Trump said that it was the fault of the sitting president if a shutdown happened. So do you think Trump was wrong when he said that? I don't remember him saying that, but— Can we bring, but we can bring up his so. sure. I we do to. Yo, if you don't remember that, that shit Democrats happened, didn't happen. Voiced there it is. the president to shut down the borders because they refused to put the country first. Isn't it true that they should protect the country before they protect illegal aliens? Do you think the CEO of a company would blame his board of directors for not being able to get something done? Is it true that they should protect the country before protecting illegal aliens first? Don't you think if you're the leader of a country, you should You're not really answering get... that question. Well, I'm just should curious. I thought put, Trump was supposed to be a businessman. Should they what put the, the country first or mean? illegal aliens first? You should probably put the country first. You said okay. probably. You're not sure? Well, I don't know what you mean by country or illegal aliens or what you mean by put it first. It's a loaded should question. Should America be put first become first before illegal aliens who are trying to break into our country what about the illegal aliens that are here right now are no, they part of america oh, should they put america before they put illegal aliens P put it where first oh yeah sure uh you you do agree oh, to okay. that I, I maybe. are you for right. illegal aliens breaking the law and just coming into our country uh not generally no you're not for that no i don't okay. think so. you say not generally are you saying you're somewhat for it I mean, it depends on the type of illegal immigrant, I guess. Oh, there are certain types that you would let in? Yeah, I guess, maybe. Sure. Like what type? Uh, a high school laborer might come here and overstay a visa. I don't think that's necessarily a harmful immigrant. We're talking about the ones who are breaking the law coming across the borders. The Somebody illegal. that overstays their visas, that's where most illegal immigrants come okay. from. How about the ones who are breaking the law? They're not coming with visas. The most of them that are here illegally. The law, this is, no. Yeah, yeah I mean, this the, guy's got to be, like, drunk or something, right? He has to be fucking drunk. I mean, he's just uh, no. Okay. Law to come here. Yeah, if you overstay your visa, that's a form of breaking the law. How about if you yeah. come across the border illegally? How about it? It, it, it? Are you for them doing that? Uh, no, you should probably try to find a way to get here legally. Yeah. Okay. Um, what does that have to do with the government shutdown? Um, the, are you aware that the Democrats are willing to give other country buku money? They even give Mexico and Buku? other countries Buku money, but they are not willing the to put up the money Buku to protect mean? their own country, what's, America. What's Buku money? Uh, lots of money. Oh, but how? Are you not aware of that? In what ways do we give them money? Many ways. Are you you're not aware of it? Are you saying you're not aware? I just want to understand that. Oh, aware. I'm just curious. In what ways do you think we do? Is it fair to give it's other countries money. money, but not 
give money to put up a wall around well, your country? I don't know. Is it fair to give tax cuts to the wealthiest Americans and spend a lot of money on our military but not fund the wall? I mean, Trump it, could it, have done it with any any number of funding bills. I mean, Amazing. Did you vote for Hillary Clinton? <laughs> amazing. Yeah, wow. Did. Okay. Well, no wonder your name is Destin. Destiny. But Destiny. To be fair, your name is Jesse. I've it, heard yeah. that used for women quite a bit as well. With the I, it is used for women. I, I just hear but it. No I hear I. Jesse. If somebody told me that Jesse was coming into a room, I'd be oh, expecting to see go. a pretty lady. Not here. with the I. I. I can't hear an I. Are you I. married? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, what does okay. any of this have to do with the government shutdown, Let though? me go. I just explained to you that uh, the president was forced to close down Portia, parts of the government because the Democrats refuse to give him money True. to put the wall up. But they're willing to support abortion. Are you for abortion? Why wasn't the president able to negotiate with the Democrats? Because the Democrats are evil. They, they are suffering. They Boom. want there the it votes. Is. They, there that's it why is. they want the illegal aliens in Boom. here. And they think they're just evil. because they're running Congress right now that they have True. the power. They don't. Are you well, they, for, but they weren't running Congress. The Republicans were. Are you? They are now. Are you for... So why didn't the Republicans uh, get it funded? They're weak. Understand. Weak beta males. Rhino Republicans. Wait, I thought you said conservatives were alpha males. They're not conservative. Oh. President Trump is a conservative. Is he the only one? No, uh, Steve, Steve King. Oh, the white supremacist? is He's a conservative? Why do you call him a white supremacist? Because he believes that white people are superior to other people. Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah. He didn't say that. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. More or less no. he said it before. Are you yeah. a nationalist? Uh, no, not really. You're not? Why not? Um, I don't really care much about, I guess, countries. It's not my interest. You don't care that much about America? Um, I care about the people in America. But do you care about America? As a concept? Not necessarily. Not do, more than the people inside of it. Do you care about the country, America? Not more than the people inside of it, no. Amazing. And so Amazing. you're not for the wall going up, right? No, not really. Are you for the wall going up in Israel? Israel has a wall. Are you for that? Um, I mean, that's Israel's business. I don't really... Pass uh, judgment on what other people do. Are you for that? I, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm indifferent to it. I don't know. Do you what? support yeah, Israel putting a wall up around this country? They want to. It's their country. They can do whatever they want. Why can't we do that here? We could if we wanted to. I'm I don't for, want to. I'm not Israeli. I'm American. I, I'm for Israel putting the wall up. I think they did the right thing. We should do it here as well. I read that. Okay. Uh, no, I want to ask, what do you think about the attack on free speech by social media? What do you think about that? Um, what attack on free speech by social media? They, uh, they, uh, you, you said that they blocked you, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that was fair? I mean, it's their First Amendment right to do so. Was it right to block you for free speech? I mean, it's their freedom of speech to do so. So you thought it was okay to do that? Yeah, I mean, it's the, they're protected by the First Amendment. Are you against you the knew, First Amendment? You are correct in that okay. since they own the media, I mean, they own social media, the aspect of it. They can do what they want. It's their business. In America, they can do what they want. Well, yeah. But are you okay with it? I mean, personally, I would like to not be banned. But, I mean, from a legislative or legal standpoint, that's their right to do so. What made them ban you? You are, you are a liberal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. This is I, I hear this all the time, right? Is people don't understand that you have the, uh, the First Amendment and then, like, the ideal. I, I, this is, this is crazy. It's almost like they ban people regardless of political affiliation. Uh, they do it to, <laughs> to conservatives. What made them do it to you? I'm not entirely sure. They never told me. I wanted to ask, uh, illegals okay. that are coming here, they land in, in the, uh, they end up in the com black communities first, uh, around the country. And, so they are really bad for the country and really bad for black people, first and foremost, because they take jobs away from blacks. They wow. bring their drugs and crime into the black wow. community, and blacks are already suffering from crime. Is the unemployment at like 3.8% right now? Not are all, they really... let, me, let me finish this. Not all, but most. Um, they, uh, the illegal aliens uh, take over health care because they're having babies and stuff, and then black women can't get into these hospitals and things like that. Um, employment, the uh, employers hire the illegal aliens, but they labor over the blacks because it's uh, cheaper to hire it illegal aliens, uh, an illegal alien. Does okay. it bother you that blacks are affected first and foremost by illegal aliens coming in? 
I don't understand how Trump can say that black unemployment is the lowest it's ever has been, but somehow all these illegals are stealing jobs from black people. Wh who, I don't know who I'm supposed to believe. Uh -oh. You're a Trump Does it uh -oh. bother you that the blacks are being affected first and foremost? Uh-oh, here we go. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand the question. Does, are, you, are, are you lying does, or is Trump lying to me? I don't understand. Does it bother you that these illegal aliens are bringing in crime, they're running blacks out of their own communities, they're taking jobs from them, the public schools are overcrowded with illegal aliens, so the black citizen children are suffering from it. There are this, fights dude? almost every day. Healthcare has been affected by the illegal aliens and uh, concerning black people. Does that bother you that the blacks are being affected in a negative way, first and foremost? Well, if illegals are running blacks out of their communities and the communities are ghettos, isn't that a good thing? Are they running them out to like middle class housing or where are they going after? Are you refusing to answer that question? I, I mean, the question doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that, mm. meaning that it doesn't bother you that blacks are being affected first and foremost? All when sorts you say of people are affected by all sorts of issues. When you say it state. doesn't make sense, are you saying that it's okay that blacks are being affected in a negative way by illegal aliens? If we really cared about how blacks are being affected, I don't think we'd be talking about illegal immigrants' impact on health care. I'm asking you, a white liberal, uh -huh. do you, okay. are you, does it bother you okay. that blacks are affected first and foremost by illegal aliens? I don't think blacks are the only people affected by illegal aliens. I didn't ask you about others. I only asked about blacks. I don't think blacks are affected that much by illegal aliens. So you're not bothered? I don't think it happens that much. Are you See, he's just trying to get him to say that he doesn't care about black people. Like, that, that's the whole thing that he's trying to do. Like, everybody sees it. It's fucking obvious, okay? Yeah, I mean, let's be real. This is, he, he it's like another one of the, the Kanye was. He's waiting for him just to say, I don't care. You know, that's bothered what it is. I, if it happened, I would be, yeah. It is happening. Are you bothered by it? If it really was, then yeah, I would be, but I don't think it is. And why would you be bothered by it? I'm bothered by anything that bothers how about, people in our about, country. By, how about, about black people? Why are you bothered by that? <laughs> I don't care if they're black people. But there are other Americans that are being bothered by things. It's a pretty big deal. Why are you yeah. bothered by so black people? I mean, that. come on. What do you think about white people who are under attack? Uh, uh, they're called racist if they speak up or disagree with blacks and others. They, uh, their jobs are being taken away from them. Uh, black people are attacking them, rob not all, but most, raping and murdering and uh, 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 attacking them. I, what do you think about that? And even what do you Steve think King, about that? I Representative love that. Steve King, who told the truth. All he did was told the truth. And now he's under attack because he's white. What do you think about that? There it is. I think he's under attack probably because he's very racist. Uh, what do I don't you think, think white about people white are, people being under attack? I don't think white when they people are under attack in the United States. I think white people are doing just fine. Do you think that you're white, right? Well, you're I think Cuban. So. I mean, I look pretty white. Yeah, you look white, but mm. you're Cuban, half Cuban, half white. Okay. If you spoke out against black people, and you spoke were attacked, out against and they black took your people. job away from you, or made you lose your job, would you be okay with that? I, I mean, it would depend on what I said to get attacked, I guess. If you spoke the truth, and you were attacked job taken away from you and other things happening and they call you a racist as a white man half cuban would you be okay with that give me an example of something i could say would you be okay with that it's the question well could you give me an example of what You're i would have gonna, to be okay with are you here to answer questions or what i mean that's a pretty loaded question i'm just curious what could i say when that would say get them loaded, to attack what me? do you mean by loaded you're assuming a lot in the question I mean, no, it was just a question. Well, yeah, you're assuming that I would say something that, I mean, like if I said I hated all black people or something, then yeah, I would expect people to attack me. Do you hate all black people? No, I don't. You hate some black people? I mean, I imagine so, probably. Do you hate some black people? Yeah. I, yeah. Oh. <laughs> See, he's just, he's going for it, man. And it's like, it, it's so funny whenever you're watching it happen because he's just obviously baiting for it. He's like, well, do you hate black people? He's like, no. Do you hate some black people? He's like, well, maybe. He's like, okay, so you do hate some black people then, right? And just like, I love this, man. It, it's so fucking funny. This is amazing. It, it's going on with straw man. It's not even that. Like, this is insane. I imagine so, yeah, uh, if I think about it. Why do you hate them? Pr pr I don't know, because of personal issues I have with them. What type of personal issue? I, it would depend on the person. I don't know. I, I don't want to call out specific people I don't like on, on this show. <laughs> Do you love black people? 
not like I don't love any group of people because like, I don't love white people or black people. There are people that I like and there are people that I don't. Watch. Like. So he's going to say, uh, so I guess you don't love black people. Well, let me see if I'm right. Like? Do you love black people? I, I don't understand the... I don't love like groups of, of people that look a certain way, no. Do you love black people? I don't love groups of people that look a certain way. I asked you about black people. Do you love black people? See, like, he won't answer the black question. Person, what does that mean? Black people? Do you love black people? Sure, I love black people. Wow. Amazing. I'm wow. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so you okay. knock on the wall and you love black people. After I had to force you by asking you 10 times, you finally said, yeah. Yeah, so you had to you get it out of there's them. a difference between being able to like people individually versus liking groups of people because of a reason? Repeat that. If I were to ask you, do you like gamers? What would you say? I love all people. All people? Yeah. Okay. okay. There it is. Totally love all people. All right. There it is. Um, I have a question for you for someone. Hold on one minute. What if you criticize black for the lack of moral character? Uh, would you criticize black people for the most, not all, not all, not all, but would you criticize most black people for the lack of character? No, I wouldn't target a group of people by their skin color to what criticize What did you think you was going to say? Black people? No. Uh, do you agree with me that there is no such thing as racism, sexism, homophobiaism, Islamophobiaism, Debbie Dadism, or white supremacism? Wait, Debbie, do you did he say Debbie Dadism? Sexism, homophobiaism, Islamophobiaism, deadbeat dadism, or what? Deadbeat dadism? That's a new one, boys. We learned something. Wow, that's crazy. White supremacism. Do you agree with me that those things don't exist? It just has everything to do with the lack of character? Okay. I mean, it can have to do with lack of character and both exist at the same time. No, do you agree with me that those things do not exist? No, of course, those exist? things absolutely exist in the world. You believe racism exists? Yeah, of course. Are you a racist? No. How come you're not? You're a white man. Okay. Why aren't you a racist? Just because I'm white doesn't mean I have to be racist. But that's what they think, though. They think all white people are racist. They oh, even think you are racist. Okay. There's people you're... that think the earth is flat. That doesn't mean I think that as well. So are you okay with black people believing that you are racist? I don't think all black people believe I'm a racist. If you disagree with them, they would. I don't think so. I've disagreed with plenty of black people that don't think I'm racist. Amazing. I, do you agree with me <laughs> that most black people are suffering not because of racism, but the lack of more character and the destruction of the family? Could be. There. See, this was the segue into the agenda. It's like, do you love black people? You do? Okay. Well, then how do you feel about my agenda? Both. Family could be destroyed because of racism. These aren't mutually exclusive. So what now? Family could be destroyed because of racism. It's possible. Do you agree with me that black people are suffering not because of racism, but the lack of moral character and the destruction of the family? I think black people in general have a lack of moral character, no. I'm asking about, so you don't believe black people are suffering due to the lack, <laughs> most black people are suffering due to the lack of moral character? No, I don't think so. How about, uh, so are there more people? Who? What? The black people. I don't think any group of people is inherently moral or amoral. How no. about black people? Are black people amoral people? Like, a moral people or amoral people? I mean, do they have? It's like imagine saying no. Oh uh, yeah, are black people more? Ah uh, nah, dude, no, nah, of course not. Like, it's like there's so many of these questions. It's so obvious. Like, I, I don't even know what to say. How moral? I mean, morals. I, I I imagine any group of people has morals. Yeah, for sure. Most black people. You, so you're saying yes, black people have morals. This would... guy baits harder than a 12 year old whenever his mom goes out for grocery shopping. Okay, this is fucking insane. I I've never seen anything this bad before. I I, I didn't expect this at all. What do you mean? Question marks? Oh yeah. Well, guess what? Back whenever I was a fucking kid. You didn't all have fucking phones. You didn't all have a PC in your room. You had the family computer. And it was in the living room. Okay? You had to get on that computer. You didn't have any of this other shit. You had to do that. So that's why mom goes to get groceries. Goes to the, even she goes to the, the 7-Eleven. Done imagine so yeah do you believe that they do 
I, I would believe so, yeah. You do? Uh, 77% of black babies are born out of wedlock to black women. Not good. Who are citizens of this country. Is that moral? Um, I, it depends on your definition of morality. I'm asking you about yours. You I might don't guess. Believe him. I don't have a is definition that for moral? morality. Is, I, that, is that more to have babies out of wedlock? I, I don't. This isn't how I do morality. It's, I didn't ask you how you did it. Well, you did. You're asking, asking me if you, I consider it moral or not. Is it more for black women to be having babies out of wedlock? Sure, as long as you take care of a child. It's abortion. Is it more to have See, an abortion? I, um, yeah, sure. <coughs> Would you want your woman to abort your child? If she really wanted to. You wow. You okay with that? I, I mean, it's her decision. It's her body, right? Amazing. That's how U.S. law works right now. Amazing. Are you a beta male? I don't think so. Beta. What a follow-up. What a fucking follow-up right there. Amazing. I, I, I think the best part about this whole thing, the only thing that's disappointing to me is, like, Destiny is, he's, he's very polite, right? And, like, I probably would be this way, too, in real life. But, like, there's a part of me that just wants these guys to just start fucking actually going at it, you know? And, like, not just, you know, answering the do you hate black people or not, you know? But, uh, you know, just actually going at it. it it's, it, it'd be so much better. <laughs> you an alpha male? You a beta. Let me ask one, and then we'll take some calls. In South Africa, Mommy Africa, uh, the blacks have taken over the government. Okay. And now white people are under attack. Their lands wow. are being taken away from them without compensation. They are being robbed, murdered, and killed by blacks, and no one seemed to care. How do you feel about that? I don't know much about South Africa. Is it right that white, let's assume I'm telling the truth. Is it white right that black people should be killing white people, robbing them, going up to their homes and killing them and robbing them and taking their lands, uh, farmland without compensation? What do you is think that he's right? going to say? Why are you doing it? Is it right? It doesn't matter why. Is it right? It doesn't matter why you do something? You have to have a reason to be killing people in their homes and stuff? Yeah, I mean, there might be a good—I don't know. Do you, what if you kill— Oh, so they might be doing it for a good reason? What if you were killing Nazis in their homes or killing murderers and rapists in their homes? Would that be Right. I don't know. You tell me. Would it be right to kill, uh, uh, kill murderers and rapists? Yes, in their home. I don't know. It depends on how I guess how why you define did you right ask or wrong. that question when I asked you about South Africa? Because I asked you why they were killing them. I'm just curious what the reason is. Amazing. Let's go to some calls. Okay. Good idea. Oh, uh, Yo, I have a good question idea. for you. Is 30 years old too old for video games? Uh, I don't think so. Let's go to some questions. I wonder who submitted that one. 30 years old, too old for some video games. Wow. How old are you? 30 years old. Oh, no. What are a coincidence. Wow. What a surprise. Amazing. You're a video gamer, right? Sometimes I am, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> when we come back, we'll take some calls. Okay. All right. Amazing! What made you take on a girl name online? Well, it was a noun, and I was nine years old, and I lived in Nebraska, so I didn't know any black people, so I'd never okay. met a girl named Destiny before. Oh, did you know Destiny was a girl name I, at night? No. Nope. You thought it was a boy name? No, I thought it was a noun that just meant, sounded cool because I was nine years old. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, when you were a conservative, were you a moral person? Were you a man then, moral man? Did you have values and morals? I still have values and morals now. When you were a conservative, did you have them? No, I don't think you can have values and morals and be a conservative. Did you support abortion when you were a conservative? Um, I choose my views on abortion have changed over time. Uh, how about same so-called homosexual marriage? Did you support that? Yeah. When you were a conservative? Uh, no, not when I was a conservative. What made you, you did not support it as a conservative. What made you support it as a liberal? Why did you switch? Well, you said that we should have love for all people, and I decided to have love for even homosexual people, and I figured that love means they should probably get married. Amazing. Where do morals come from? I don't know. That's a really interesting question. Where do you think morals come from? Are you a Christian? No. Are you okay. not a Christian? Definitely not. Are you an atheist? Yeah, probably. Are you an atheist? Agnostic, but sure. And, and what does that mean again. to be agnostic? Um, I don't believe you can have information about the existence of a God. Amazing. Alonzo <laughs> is a first-time caller out of um, Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, here we Alonzo, go. Alonzo, you're on the air. Thank you for calling. You're on with Destiny, child. 
No, how you're not. You, not Destiny Child, just Destiny. Okay. Go Hi, ahead. How are you, sir? All is well. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Yes. It's great to um, ha be on the show. I've been watching your show for over a year now. Wow. And I've learned so much from your show. So I want to thank Amazing. you very much for the information that you've been putting out. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I've taken a, f a few of your advice and I've been talking to other black folks and See? it's been, I've been okay. getting a lot of confidence and I've been opening up other blacks to, um, realizing that racism is not the issue that we're supposed to be fighting. It's a spiritual battle that you've been trying this to is a question? tell people. Yes. And I've been getting some negative feedback from it. But then I've had some people that, you know, change their mind. Good. We need okay. more and more people of of uh, God to be out there. People who are not afraid to tell the truth. True. Yes, True. Sir. I appreciate that, uh, Alonzo. Yes, thank you very much again. It's uh, it's an honor to be talking to you right now. Right on. I'm a little nervous right now, so bear with me. Well, don't be nervous. We're wow. okay. We just, it's just Jesse and Destiny is here. Yes, sir. And... Was there a question? I hope, uh, Destiny, I hope um, you uh, change your viewpoint. Um, it's, everything's a learning experience, and you'll keep growing because I didn't uh, believe the things that Jesse believed, and after watching it over and over, uh, I began to realize, and I began to uh, start sharing that love to everybody. What do you say about that, uh, Destiny? I hope I kill myself before I even get halfway down that road. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You'd rather kill yourself than to have love for all? Yeah. Wow. You say yes? Then, I, then believe in whatever you guys believe in, yeah. Did you say yes? Then believe in whatever you guys believe in, yeah. Are your parents liberal? Nope, they're quite conservative. Oh, they are? Are they Christians? Yeah, they are. Do they know you switched? Oh, yeah. How do they feel about it? Uh, they're not happy about it. Oh. Uh, amazing. Anything amazing. else? Alonzo? No, sir. Uh, just continue doing the good thing, and I'll keep on plugging along. Thank you, buddy. Call me again. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's I'll go. Make. That was like a three-minute question, a caller, and he didn't fucking say anything. Like, he, he called up. He's like, yeah, I like you a lot. I love Jesus, too. Destiny? You're wrong. Peace. And, and like you just space that out into three minutes, and that was pretty much the whole thing. It was impressive. I, it was more than impressive. It was amazing. Amazing. That's amazing. Huh? You watched my shows before? I'm a little bit, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately? Why, unfortunately? Wow. Um, I don't know if there's like an increased go. risk of brain cancer or what happens if I <laughs> expose myself to too much of this. But well, at least you're saying amazing. Yeah, I know. It's already, maybe it is, I don't know, a pathogen or something. I'm already infected. Wow. Do you have anger and destiny? Uh, I'm angry all the time, yeah. You are? Baiting. Yeah. And how did you become an angry person? Uh, see, now, see, this is what he's doing now. Is He's trying to use the anger, right? He's trying to personify the anger into him being the political thing that he doesn't like. See, I, I, I see this happen. So fucking often. It's so cute. Only by listening to people like you. This is you a master angry by hearing the truth. By hearing, not by hearing the truth, no. And how did uh, people like me cause you to become angry? What? Because um, I actually have a. I actually very much appreciate the truth. When I hear people like you, I get pretty upset. That so many people can be led astray. And what do I say that is not true? Pretty much every single word you say is not true. Like what, for an example? Anything having to do with God, for example. Do you mean an example of something I said about God is not true? Anything related to God. The fact like, that morals have to come from God is an example of an untrue statement. You don't get your morals from God? You don't have to get your morals from God. Where do you get yours from? I mean, you make them up yourself. You made them up? Yeah. Do you, are you in support of men and women? Women pretend to be men, and men pretending to be women transgender. It makes them happy, sure. You okay with that, too? Yeah. Is Bruce Jenner okay. a man or a woman? Okay. Whatever they want to be, I don't care. What is Bruce? Bruce is whoever what is he Bruce? or she wants to be. Or Who Caitlin is he? Or... Is he a man or a woman? What I, is whatever Bruce? Whatever they want to be, I don't care. It's not my business. You don't know what Bruce is? 
Not really. Do you know what I am? Well, but right now, I'm not sure, but and with the name Destiny, uh -huh. are you touching it? Here he goes. I don't know. Am I? <laughs> Seems like you don't know either, right? Maybe we should just keep it to ourselves. You look like a man. Yeah, I mean, oh, you look like a male. Okay. That That little edit there. Because he already said before that a man is a conservative and a male is just some, it's a guy, right? So he, he you know, he, he, he brought it back a little bit. So, so there is actually an, a, a guiding ideology here. But why you ask me, what are you? Because you don't actually know what I am. So why worry well, about we it? Well, we know that Bruce is pretending to be a woman, but he's really a man. Do you know that? Yeah, he was born a man. Really? Have you seen his penis before? Uh, but he said he was born a man. He used so to... have he said it? What if, he's, what if he said something different? We go about what he said. Do you think Bruce is a woman now? I'm just curious how you know who, how someone is one way or the other. He, he said that he's a woman now. At one time, he was a man. Sounds this like is you don't so know either stupid. Way though, right? I know he's not a woman. How do you know that? A man who takes off their body parts... And attach a woman part or a woman who take off her woman parts and attach a man body parts to herself. Does that make her a man? Do you know what body parts they were born with? Wait, that, what? That, that's not the question. Does well, that we make never, her, that's like a full cycle. Does this. that make her a man? Sure, if it wants them to be, yeah. Just because she added the body part of a male? Sure, if they want to be, sure. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, Amazing. Brady. <laughs> It's a first time caller from Phoenix, Arizona. I like how he never questions Greetings. any of these. Thank you so for okay. calling. You on the air? Hey, how's it going? All is well. How you doing? Good, thanks. How can I help you? Um, I don't know. You said you wanted a uh, quote unquote adult video gamers to call in. I didn't say that. Maybe someone else. I'm a. Are okay. you the, Are you <laughs> an adult video away. gamer? I am a quote unquote adult video gamer. How old are you? I am 23 years old. Wow. You live with your mother? What a loser. Uh, no, I don't actually uh, work a job. Immediately ask time. that. I thought, so are you on a speakerphone? Uh, yeah. Oh, can you pick up your phone? There, is this better? Oh, 100%. And so right. I thought I was under the impression, maybe I'm wrong, that video games were for children. Oh, you're absolutely wrong. Why, how are they for adults, especially men? How are they not for adults? What's the difference between playing a video game and watching a movie? Are you depressed? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> no, no, I'm not actually. You're not depressed? Nope. Do you have suicidal thoughts? Uh, no, I do not. Are you shy of the world? Are you are you able to deal with people? Oh, I deal with people perfectly fine. So All of the questions that he's asking are his preconceived stereotypical attributes of people that play video games as adults, and that's why he's asking them. Uh, it, it, it's very, very obvious. Why are, you a, why are you an adult video gamer? Because I enjoy the entertainment of video games. Amazing. Um, Destiny, do you agree with me that adults should not be video gamers? Considering I'm an adult that plays video games, what the make much fuck? Sense if I agreed with you, would it? So what do you, what do you think about? Are you, you you're not married, okay. right? Not right now, no. You've been married. Uh, yeah. Oh, you were married. Yep. And were you a video gamer while married? While See, you were he's gonna insinuate that the reason he's not married anymore is just playing video games. Watch. All right. Yep. Well, no wonder your wife left you. Boom! There I it is, know. dude. What did I tell you guys? See, once you know him, it's like learning a boss mechanic. Like, once you know what's going to happen in the boss mechanic, once you go through phase one, you know exactly how you're going to get to phase two. It is fucking obvious. It's fucking obvious, man. It's scripted out. This is more scripted than my stream. She left me. <laughs> Are you married, Brady? No, I'm not married. Oh, you're never going to get married because you're married to the video game. Boom. Are you married? Oh, no. am I? Oh, why aren't you married? That's interesting. I don't have time. Don't have time. Uh -uh. Um, uh, Do you think the women are scared off because they hear Jesse's coming and they're not sure if they're going to see a woman or a man? No, they want me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Why don't so you have time me, for a wife? All right. Work. It's not in the in the cars right now for me. But let me ask, Brady. Um, it's Brady, not Grady. Brady, <laughs> why are you into games as an adult? I, I think I already answered that question. Um, 
so why were you a conservative uh, destiny when you were into video gaming? Yep. Are you addicted to it? To video games? I don't think so, no. Are you, uh, Brady, are you addicted to the games? Uh, no, I'm not addicted. And can you stop doing it if you wanted to? Uh, yeah. That would mean okay. he's not addicted. Want. Well, give it a try for a year. Let's see what's happened. Oh, okay. I'll stop listening to your show for a year so I quit losing brain cells. Okay, will you stop the gaming for a year? Um, I love how, like, this dude just, like, fucking talks shit to him. And Jesse doesn't even give a fuck. It doesn't even make him mad. Like, I'm, I'm actually impressed. Like, if there's anything I can say about this guy, it just doesn't even make... Like, it, it's like you could say anything to this dude, and he won't even get pissed, because he doesn't understand it. No, I, why would I stop something I enjoy? Amazing. Are you a conservative? Uh, no, I'm not a conservative. Are you a liberal? Far from it. You, you're a liberal? You say a liberal, sure. Beta! How did you become a li <laughs> how did you become a liberal? Um, I don't know. I guess it comes from uh, things you believe in. How uh, did you become a conservative? You got it from your mother. Um, not really. Not his father. Is your mother his liberal? Mother. Yeah. <laughs> My mother is all the subtleties there. Left leaning. Oh, she's a liberal. Sure. So you're just like your mother. Do you think he spent too I mean, much time with his mom? I mean, my father's left-leaning, too. So you're just like your mother and father? If you want to say that. I'll rest my are case. You, oh, boom. Are you... I was a cons I was a liberal when I was a beta male. And then oh, okay. I and then God changed my heart, and I can no longer identify with liberals because liberals are of their father the devil. All right. They're children of the lie. And, children of the and lie. And so I'm, I am a black... Christian conservative. How do you feel about wow. uh, black conservative, Grady? It's, it's Brady. Brady, yeah, Brady. Oh, they have a G here for some reason. It's Brady, not... Oh, okay. Yeah, they spelled your name wrong. Um, okay. How do you feel about black conservatives? What's the difference between them and any other conservative? That's not what I asked. How do you feel uh -huh, about I black see? conservatives? I mean, I feel the same way like I do about all conservatives. How do you feel I about black, black conservatives? conservatives. <laughs> Why are you See? singling out? He didn't answer the question. How do you feel about black, black. conservatives? Yeah, there it is again. I feel I do not okay. I do not like conservatives. How, you I, don't like I the black the about black conservatives. Oh, there it is. Do you like there the black right conservatives? There. Like I said, I do not like black conservatives. But okay. It's not because they're black, it's because so they're conservative. Like I didn't the say between... because they were black. I just ask, do you okay, like I, black conservatives? I don't know why you, you're singling out. Why can't you just answer the question? I already answered the question. Like I said, I said I do not like black conservatives, but uh, I don't like conservatives overall. Destiny, oh do God. you like black conservatives? No. Nope. How do you you don't like them? No. Nope. Okay. Nope. See how easy. Do you know Destiny, Brady? Brady? I mean, I'm a fan of him. I don't know him personally. You have a fan. Oh. Another liberal. That's exciting. A gamer. Video amazing. Game. Oh, amazing. Brady, yeah. thank you for calling, man. I appreciate it. All right. And thanks for, thanks for listening to the show. Um, I want to ask, how do you feel about the attack that's happening with Steve King right now, Representative King, for saying that he's that? a nationalist? And... When did that go wrong, and what's wrong with being a national? How do you feel about that? Um, Steve King's made a lot of pretty racist. That was actually a good question. Like that, that. So this is the first question that we've had in the first thirty minutes of the show that was actually kind of good, right? It was. Oh, I mean, like here's why, right? It wasn't a. How was it good? It didn't presuppose a narrative. It was topical. And it focused on an idea rather than an individual. Yeah, it was a good question. Just comments in the past. So I imagine, like what? Uh, when he talked about Mexican babies replacing white people in the United States, for instance. Well, we don't have enough white babies. We have too many Mexican babies. We don't need any Mexican babies. We need white babies well, to save not America. Mexican babies, they'd be American babies. If, no, here. if they're Mexican babies, wow, they're going to turn into logic. Mexico. You really think so? 100%. Okay. Do you agree that we need more white babies? 
I don't know if we necessarily need any more of a particular type of baby. Are you offended when white people, when white males are attacked and call white supremacy and things like that? If they're an actual white supremacist, no, it seems appropriate. So it doesn't bother you? Not when they're actually white supremacists, no. And if they decide that they want to be a white supremacy, what's wrong with that? I'm not a fan of people that are white supremacists. Are you fan? Uh, are you okay with black supremacists? No, I'm not. You like Louis Farrakhan? I don't know enough about him. Do you know who Louis Farrakhan is? I've seen like tweets, but I don't, I don't know. He said that white people are blue-eyed devils, Ooh. and black Ooh. people are, wow. I mean, not black people, but Jews are blessed second Jews. Do you agree with that? I, no. You don't agree with that? that? No. Should he be banned for making those statements? Banned from what? For saying those statements. Yeah, banned from where? Banned from America? Banned from Twitter? Should they take his job and what job? stop him from preaching and all that for saying making those statements? He can preach whatever you want. You have freedom of religion in the United States. Should he be banned or stopped as a result of making those statements? Banned but from where? His job. What is his job? Answer the question. Well, I don't know what his job is. You're not answering what? the question. Well, if his job is like a McDonald's worker, then no, he should be able to do that. Let's take... Uh, Amazing. Let's take another Jake. Oh, another caller. Okay, Jake here we go. Jake is um, first time caller out of Georgia. Georgia on my mind. Hey, Jake. Hey, Jesse, how you doing? All is well. You're on with Destiny as well. I have a guess. How you doing, Destiny? I'm doing great. <laughs> well, I wanted to call. Uh, that uh, guy before is uh, quite a stupid man. Data mail. Like that, right? <laughs> Data mail, yeah, I can tell. Okay, can tell, here we I go. I can tell the uh, attitude he has, uh, the liberal, oh, we're all pink inside, we're all the same. Yeah, you that can, was... You can definitely hear that. That's a motherly thing coming from him. Yeah, that was Brady. Yeah, Brady. Out of Phoenix. You're right Data about mail that. Brady. Absolutely. You agree with that, Destiny? No. Why not? Because I don't know if you inherit your political views from your mother more than your father, or if that makes you liberal or not. You can you can inherit your beta male characters from your mother. Absolutely. You gotta probably inherit them from your father as well. If your if your father's a beta male, but your father shouldn't be a beta male. He should be a father. He should be a man. Well, if that guy's a beta male and he has kids, and that kid is gonna have a father that's a beta male, no? Beta male shouldn't have kids. Oh <laughs> shit, sure, Jesse! He just called you a beta male. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, he said beta male shouldn't have kids. Yeah, you don't have any kids, right? I do have kids. You have ki and you're not no, married? I'm not gonna I rest my kids. And it, you're not married? I have grandkids and great grandkids. Wow. I have one great grandchild. Do you live in sin? No, I did that when I was in sin. Okay. Thank you. Well, obviously. Did you get those marriages Are in Are you old? a sinner? I don't believe in God, uh, so I... Oh, I'm sorry, God. Uh, I'm asking Destiny. Destiny, are you a sinner? I don't believe... I'm sorry. I I've got to take a shit, guys. I'll be right back. I've got to take a shit. I believe in God, so I don't think I can sin. Is Satan your daddy? Last time I checked, no, I don't think so. Is, is. Satan your daddy? Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Jake. I appreciate it. Let's go to Frankie out of Illinois. Frankie, thank you for calling. You're on the air. Okay. Hi, Jesse. Can you uh, hear me clearly? Loud and clear, Frankie. Thank you for calling. You're on with Destiny as well. I don't even know where to start with Destiny. If Jesse oh. can't help you, I got another say to you. <laughs> Um, first, Jesse, I want to ask you a question real fast. Yes, sir. Do you hate people when you ask them questions and they can't give you a yes or no answer? The, yep. No, I don't. I understand why they don't. Too scared to answer. Huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Destiny just admitted he said that he's too scared to answer. And most... Uh, I mean, all liberals have uh, anger, and they're afraid to admit the truth. So I, I, I totally understand. You have to be patient with them. True. Right, Destiny? Okay. Very true. All right, Fair enough. It. All right, yeah. well, my, my phone call is mainly directed towards you, Jesse. Yes. And the wall and your views on Israel. Frank, can call me tomorrow. I'm out of time. I, the only reason I'm hanging up and running out of time. Call me tomorrow. Destiny, thank you for coming in, man. Thanks for having me. What's your website again? Destiny.gg. I really appreciate you coming. Thanks, I wish sir. you well.